kitty bouncing. Honestly, I don't know how to do my hair. I really don't. Or at least I don't have the patience to learn to do my hair. Like, it's just so much work and... Like, I know how to do finger coils. But it takes like hours and hours to do. And the coils don't even last like forever. So, I'm not gonna spend three hours doing finger coiling for one, like four or five days worth of styling. You know, so I've kind of like lost patience at this point to truly learn how to do my natural hair. Although like it's a, it's a really bad thing because like I learned how to do other things that I, I, I want to get better at. But like, I don't know, I just feel like I never had the motivation because I, like, I never wore my natural hair out for that long. So I never, yeah, I just like never felt the need for it because I could just put on a wig and go about my day um however like now I want to go out more with my natural hair because like I look fantastic I look fabulous and I need to just know how to truly um like maintain it while I have it out like for the longest time I felt like I was not attractive with my natural hair like because every time I would go out I would get more compliments when I went out with like braids or weave than I would get with my natural hair and actually I would never get compliments when I went out with my natural hair right anyway so I felt like oh just because it is my natural hair that means my true self like me with no fake hair nothing is that attractive enough and I, that's what I used to think and that's why I never like I remember I went to high school all four years of high school not once did somebody see my natural hair not once I always had like braids or or weave on all throughout but now that I'm like an adult and actually don't care and I don't rely on validation or an external validation like I used to like now I really don't care like I really don't care all the way so like I was saying before my camera decided to change up on me um yeah like I don't rely on external validation as much as I used to when I was younger so now when I go out and I think I look fantastic I don't really care what other people tell me. I mean, yes, it's great to get compliments, but I don't think it's a failure. I'm a failure and I'm, I, I don't question my self-worth if somebody doesn't come up to me and say, oh, you're so gorgeous, or you this and that. So, yeah, but it's like, it's just a matter of like me learning and having more patience with my natural hair because every time I take off, like I have to deal with it, I just think about cutting it off and I really did cut it off a few weeks well a few months ago like earlier this year but I think I'm gonna go to the barber and get it more like trimmed to the back and maybe like a little bit shorter as well because I think I'm, I look better with shorter natural hair than I do with longer not that my hair grows long really I don't think it, it has ever grown long it goes so slow but yeah, I think I just I think I look better. I don't want to turn to the back because the back is so bad. <laughs> the back is so bad, but yeah. <sighs> anyway, let's go to the gym. This does look gross. It does, but it tastes okay <laughs> and then i'm having a piece of toast i'm gonna add some peanut butter or almond butter whatever i have to it and that's my pre-workout before i go to the gym and this is my outfit um i'm wearing one of those the shorts with my gymshark top because i'm a rebel it's like wearing nike and adidas like nike top adidas bottom 
So as per usual, I am starting off with dynamic stretches. So dynamic stretches, for those of you guys who don't know the difference between dynamic and static stretches, dynamic is more like movement based type of stretching where as you can see, I'm just like swaying my body and moving my body around and just like stretching but in mo like a motion type of stretching versus static stretches or more static well <laughs> hence the name um so it's like a position is held for 20 seconds or longer so that is a static stretch but i am starting off by just warming up and make sure that my muscles are not tight and my blood is flowing I went through a phase during which I would skip glute activation and move straight into my compound movement. And I realized that when I would start, like, let's say, doing squat or deadlift, I wouldn't feel it in my glutes as much as I would have if I did did glute activations. So this one is a step I do not skip, especially when I am doing lower body or anything that me like targets my glutes or that I want to target my glutes. So I would just do about three sets of 10 for hip bridges and it also helps straighten your lower back as well. So I just realized that my bra is inside out. This is where the padding usually goes. I don't even see the logo. Okay, yeah, the logo's right here. There's nobody here. I should change it, but. So my first main exercise is hip abduction. So this one right here, I used to do it at the end of my workouts. Um, however, I started doing it at the beginning because it really burns um, before I even start. So I know that I will have a really good workout when my muscles already sore before I start my compound movements. And I know this is like a really weird angle. <laughs> you can see like, oh, the interesting parts um but yeah i usually start with this one i do about four sets of 15 to 20 and i really push myself and that th another thing <laughs> i noticed when i started recording myself and watching my videos is that i drop my head when i'm doing an exercise because i make like really weird faces so i try to hide it by just like dropping my head and it has become such a bad habit and sometimes when i'm lifting and i should keep my spine straight I just like drop my head for no reason and I had to catch myself all the time. This is our main compound movement. We're doing hip thrusts. I love hip thrusts. I used to do it on my old gym. I had a, a Smith machine that like went all the way to the ground and I find it much easier to set up and use instead of doing the, the free barbell. Um, however, this gym doesn't have that, so I had to go back to just doing the barbell. But I am starting off with a really light weight. Always start with a warm-up set, guys. I cannot stress this enough because if you start and you load up the bar, let's say, to your like maximum or semi-maximum, and then you do one rep and you realize that something, like let's say you did not stretch the right way, or like something is wrong like you could possibly injure yourself so always start with a light warm-up weight and then I move on to um, to my well this is like my second set so I added more weights to it so that was more challenging and as you can see I am using a smaller bar and I will always say this in every single video I find the smaller bar much easier for me to control so instead of focusing on balancing my weights and just like wasting my energy i just like to keep the bar short and have that that makes me have more control over um every single rep <laughs> So the next exercise is Bulgarian split squats. I absolutely hate these. I hate these so much. 
but I always feel so accomplished after I finish all my sets so as you can see I am starting off low I'm starting off on the ground I do not have the weights on my hand trying to place my feet on the platform I am well I'm starting off on the ground because I don't know I I don't know where I got this tip from I think it was Instagram because everything my life revolves around Instagram but yeah so this is how I'm starting and I'm using two I would say semi light dumbbells because I'm going for high reps and this was my first set so I did not want to start heavy so I'm doing about three set. I did three sets of eight I, that's my maximum I will not do any more I will not do more three sets of eight um, but if you want you can do more honestly um, it's up to you this exercise is quite self-explanatory I'm just doing basic leg press however I have a high foot stance that because it targets the glute a little bit more than it targets your quads it's still targeting your quads but you know the glutes actually have more action when it comes to the high foot stance. I recently noticed that I chew my thumb quite a lot, like way more than I thought I did. Um, this is a habit I've had ever since I was a baby, but now like I've been recording myself and just like watching myself doing random things, I realize that I do it like so much. All right, so back to the exercises. I am doing cable kickbacks. This one, I absolutely love it. It always makes my butt uh, feel like it's on fire. And I am trying to target my lower glute. Like I stated before, I do not want a flat lower glute. I want this cheeks to be peachy. I want them to be nice and plump, okay? So I'm doing about, um, Four, I did four sets of 10 to 12 and right after I finished like the, the the basic ones I lowered the weight and then I just like did smaller or like shorter kickbacks like as you can see when I do quad focus leg days, I usually use the laying hamstring curl machine versus when I do a glute focus leg day, I use the seated hamstring curl machine instead. I think they they still work the hamstrings, however, I think it works different um, parts of the hamstrings. So I am not a thousand percent sure. I will do more research on that and get back to you for the next video. Okay, so I did a quick Google search and it says that the main difference between a seated and lying leg curl is the amount of hip flexion. The laying leg curl has less hip flexion than the seated leg curl, which results in less muscles activation and the hamstring. This makes the lying leg curl slightly less effective for hamstring hypertrophy. <laughs> So as my finisher, I am doing some calf raises. I know my calves are not going to grow, but I am still working. I still have hope. So I started doing them about twice a week. And I just like do four sets of as much as I possibly can. And I increase the weight um, incrementally. Next week I am doing a navigation trying haul guys this is where I got it from and you will see all the things that I got including this short right here i should have posted that video first but i'm very excited to post this glute video because i always love the workout videos that's it for the video guys please like comment subscribe share this video if you like it so i can post more and i will see you guys next week bye